season two, episode one, it'll be an it'll be a eight to ten week season. I am your host, Blue Boy nineteen eighty five, HWA short for Hammers Wrestling Alliance. We will be trialing the tag team division again. So it's, at most it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a twelve week season at most. We have a celebrity match on the card. It's Logan Paul going against Machine Gun Kelly. Our second match is Champagne and Charlie going against Alex Wright. We're emanating from Champagne and Charlie's hometown, Manchester, England. The third match is a one of one match. The legendary late great Dave Will Smith, the British Bulldog. Going up against Ian Frost, the Athletic People. I'm just going to check my sound levels. One, two. 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 <coughs> British Bulldog going up against Ian Frost. Oh, co-main event suggested by Bald Warrior 1987, including this match and this match. It's co-main event is a submission match. The Nature Boy Ric Flair in his prime, the 1988 version, going against the Big Boss Man. And for the main event of the evening, we, it, this was actually going to be a nine-match card, but I was like. <clears throat> that may have dragged on, so I'll just get my Discord link for anyone that is interested. I'm trying to build a community on Discord, Twitch, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Reddit, and TikTok, but TikTok will be for promotional purposes only. Hmm, I never want, want the link to expire, but every time I shut the computer down, it does. So, if anyone would like to join the Discord, more than welcome. We don't have many members at the minute, so... I don't want any bullshit, drama, cameras, prostitutes, and that shit. I don't want any of that shit. Because I have enough of that shit on the... On my Instagram, which I'm bloody fed up with. Only games I will not play are Demon Souls, Dark Souls, Bloodborne, and Elder Ring. But hopefully, at some point, I should be playing the Remnant from the Ashes. My TikTok current is Blue Boy 1985 1. This is full count anyway, Matt, because Kane won. Um, like the terms of destruction match which was a hell in a cell we will be doing another type of style match like that at some point hello board warrior hope you're doing well mate thank you for the suggestions any match ideas can go because board warrior is so a friend so he can use my personal facebook because i can't get into his discord so anyone else discord server walking office is where you put the match for 2k <clears throat> Co main event and main event are the only matches, and this match here because they're new to the <coughs> but, but they're only for special occasions. Pack will be defending the Hammer Throw Championship on next week's episode. <coughs> Queen of Hammers will be back as well, so I've been a wrestling fan for 34 years now, since I was like 3 years old, I never grew up wrestling, some people I know have, but I, that's not a knock of people doing that, yeah I've been fan since I was 3 years old, <coughs> I like all promotions, AEW have really pissed me off, Soraya, i.e. Paige from WWE, 
Get fucking what? Oh, someone said, oh, I'm not going to AEW. You're going home to fucking Norwich, England. Fuck off, mate. No, you didn't. You showed up on fucking last night, you fucking dynamite. You fucking joker. I hope Tony Khan's got fucking... Yeah, why fucking lie? Fucking idiot. One thing I really, 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 really get to my fucking tits is people fucking lying to the fans. When you are well, straight the fuck up, what the fuck are you doing? Are you going home? Going to back to WWE or AEW? Oh, I'm not going to AEW. Fucking bullshit, mate. <clears throat> I'm most stream content creator apart from the games. Yeah, because I know plenty of fucking liars, so I've got some fa I've got some questions for you people, so you can earn some crypto dosh. Our oh, leader currently with 18 points is Bull Warrior. Really fuck. Lies burn me the fuck up big time, they really do. And basically. Yeah, exactly. Thief is straight the fuck up with what they want to do. But people like that, nah, they don't know what they're fucking doing. I've I've got a question, I've got to think of one. This is a celebrity match. I don't like either of these people, to be quite honest. Logan Paul's not too bad. Machine Gun Kelly, oh, it gets on my nerves. Oh, nice. Where are at, buddy? You know, I are awesome. Nice. <laughs> oh, awesome. If I had the cat, I'd fucking ask her to come along, but I don't think I could. Oh, nice. Awesome. I've got a question. <clears throat> okay. Glenn Jacob. When Glenn Jacob was in WCW, what was his wrestling name? For one point. This following contest is scheduled for one fall. Seems like Dogman people are just lurking crazy to get money. Hayden from Westlake, Ohio. Logan Paul, the brother of Jake Paul. How much for the tickets for the Amphac show? Go Warrior. Hayden from Cleveland, Ohio, by way of Houston, Texas, USA. No, basically, celebrity things are one-offs, and every bloom. If Bad Bunny was on this, I don't think he is, even though he's fucking signed for the company. Machine Gun Kelly looks fucking stupid, but Logan Paul's match with men was fucking awesome. No, John Bosch is a little smuck. He turned them to something they weren't fucking comfortable with. No, it's not punk From machine gun carry. I don't know his relevance. I really don't. But Logan Paul has recently signed for WWE. And he's like a wrestler, so if he's done his training, Super Sing Home Kelly is actually married to Megan Fox, the actress. Oh, fucking hell. No Bandera, you having a fucking laugh, mate? You having a fucking laugh? So, no disrespect to people like Zack Wild. You shouldn't have done it. If Dimebag was still here, yes, then do it, but not with that little fucking clown shoe filling fucking sound my world. That fucking dickhead. Not even a fucking original member of the band is alive to say, fuck you, pal. It was the Abbott Brothers, baby. Not yours, fair and Salmo, you motherfucker. No, it's punches to the bread basket from... Moving forward. You're an absolute fucking joke, mate. 
If Phil wouldn't have said what he would fucking said about dying bad, I wouldn't have had an issue. But because they couldn't spread like fucking adults. Both get into the ring. Yeah, the actual title is Nitro. And Queen of Hammers, which is a sister promotion, been been a hero take a year. Oh, what the fuck? Sorry about that, people. I don't know what the fuck just happened there. Two seconds. <sighs> Bear with me. Two seconds. Give me two seconds. To sort this fucking motherfucking thing out. Something has tripped it, so I don't fucking know what it is. Sorry about that, people. I was having some technical issues. <coughs> Sorry if we've missed anything, people. Machine Gun Kelly. I know he's a musician of some kind. Not my, not my property. I do like some of his songs. No, it's play that shit. No, it's not that. Mm, I from the car earlier, but... <laughs> yeah, just, just a little pa power outage. Oh, but I figured out it's fucking... God dang it, Billy Jack. For the player, I've never done that before. over the top but was missed. At least Logan Paul is an athlete. <coughs> I don't want to go like in a raid and it gets my number not. <coughs> I'm not supposed to do that bread basket. No, I don't want a bicycle here. Because Logan Paul Basically, they're, all they are is special guests. Because they've got a special guest. Mmm, pass oh, eyes. So I'll let you know. No, everything's just gone out of the power. Out of the basically, the something came out of the fucking socket. That's all it was. That's better, figured it out. Sorry about that, people. Yeah. That's what happens sometimes. My dick was here. Stop the bear part. No one forward to know what's around to throw a elbow. That'd be enough for a two count. If you are waiting or liking, please, <coughs> nice, keep the grip rod hip, nice, free amigos. You've got to keep it on the roll hip. One, two, three, and your winner, Logan Paul. No, power out for the done everything. Yeah, a switching or something fucking, don't ask. 
yeah, if you're afraid of loading, just keep, um, if you're on web browser, keep a uh, tab open. <coughs> And his first appearance, Logan Paul goes to the dark side and beats the shit out of Machine Gun Gary. So I think this could probably, if we had like a stipulation match, probably down the line. Pack will be defending his Hammersfield Championship next week. Heading for Manchester, England, by way of South Sea, Essex, my hometown, the 24 hour party animal, the funky white boy, Champagne Charlie, and his opponent, heading for Nuremberg, Germany, Alex Wright. We will be bringing Disco Inferno because one apiece between. Yeah, basically, if the celebrities are suspended, we basically dock them a, like a week's worth of pay. We will be bringing Disco Inferno in for the rubber match, Champagne Charlie and Disco Inferno. So the rubber match is, is where it's everything, so there's one, one match apiece, so it's a deciding match. I, I, yeah, because if Columbine didn't happen, Alex Wright would have easily been got away with being Berlin. I'm going to probably team him and Disco Inferno and Alex Wright together. The referee wants a good clean matchup, so let's get it on. So please talk about your struggles, mental health, you can talk about networking, collaborating, all that stuff is good. Nice drop block to the leg for Alex Wright. One of my favourites. Nice snake guy from Champagne Charlie. Champagne Charlie's a nice guy. I've met him a few times. He's a nice guy. So if, basically if. Yep, that's fine. That's what I thought. He's the drunken fury, the Larry um, Bold Warrior, because he's your creation. Yeah. Bold Warrior created um, Champagne Charlie. He doesn't wear the vest anymore. So I will have to amend that later on. No, it's wrist lock. What people say about that boy, he wouldn't know the difference between wrist lock and wrist lock, but you know, he's got tons of merchandise. Ah, a question. What was the name of when Alex Wright and Disco Inferno teamed up? What were they called? If you do know, let me know. But if you know what they later became, let me know also. But I'll get you an extra point. The internet might have to come to the floor block, unfortunately, so I won't be able to take that apart. No, it's not DDT! One! Only enough for one! I believe Alex Wright's dad is a wrestler from World Book called Skull Murphy. I could be wrong on that. If anyone does know, for UK mental health, I know a fantastic charity. They are called My, my Brother and Fellow Country and Fest to the Real Side for both 777 and four. Mind my health charity. If anyone does need to book my Instagram and Twitter's are always open. My Instagram is Instagram at Blueboy1985 and my Twitter's are Twitter at Blueboy. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Um, DK Dub, nice. Um, Drunken Fury, Larry Oto, one, two, three. What a fantastic win from Champagne Charlie. Yeah, my Twitter's are Twitter at BlueBoy85 and Twitter at BlueBoy1985. If you have any questions, please ask. Oh, yes. Um, DKW did a charity wrestling event at the Pop Tavern in Japan. On, they had two shows which were fantastic from what I'm hearing. So that's basically... Good sportsmanship from both Champagne Charlie and the German native Alex Wright. Yep, I love Alex Wright. He's fantastic. 
probably at the weekend we will be doing Queen of Hammers, which is the sister promotion of HWA, which is Hammers Wrestling Alliance. Now, both of Cliff's are they're not going to know who that is. Basically, Champagne Charlie literally lived next door to the, the venue, so Hayden from Manchester, England. The late great British Bulldog and his opponent in the farm, West Griffin C, Essex, well, near where I live. The Essex Pitbull, Ian Frost, we will be trying these two out as a tag team, so we're doing a 12 week season. Same with Queen of Hammers. Yeah, he's very lucky to literally live next door. I'm glad Davey Boy Smith dumped um, Dynamite Kick to the curb because they were basically they were shitting in people's bags, waiting for people to um, fall asleep. Nice Bulldog from the Essex Pitbull, who's very, in his time off from Square Circle, he had actually done some strongman competition. He's back at wrestling at DKW, I believe, and some other promotions. Back body drop, slam. Nice elbow. Yeah, basically, the guy in question is called Mitch Snow. Basically, later on in life, the guy committed suicide because he was very embarrassed of the situation. They'd shaved his eyebrows, they shaved his hair, and they'd shit in his bag. But I was like, no wonder David Boy dropped his ass. Nice Manhattan drop, which is the reverse atomic drop for anyone that knows. Yeah, I thought it was just basically dents can give you health on tablets to basically if you don't want needles they can numb it, they can pop you pop an intravenous IV in so you can have it that way. British Bulldog, yeah, even though he wasn't a world champion, he came very close in WCW and WWF. Nice reversal from David Boy, yeah. Squad well, Rest Show, David Boy. He trademarked the reason Dynamite Kid and David Boy Smith, the late British Bulldog, had a fallout is because David Boy trademarked the name the British Bulldog to use for himself and dumped Dynamite Kid to the curb. And the guy that's called Johnny Smith is no relation, he's just someone they say is a relation but isn't. Nice Manhattan drop from the late great. No man, he's a dickhead. Only reason he's allowed in the States because he's tied with Ric Flair and Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. One thing I hate is cheap wins and fucking counters. They really are pissing me really off. <coughs> we will be adding Gary Wolf to the, the team. Yeah, better known as Scott McGee. Apart from the era, how is everyone? David West Smith, the British Bulldog, is done in the Bavaria Crimson Mask. We lost him 19 years ago. It'll be the 20th anniversary of his passing. Same with Lock Curtin, the late, great Mr. Perfect. Apart from. The yeah, hour well, earlier, yeah. how, how is streaming for everyone? Is is the audio okay for everyone? Right. Because HWA. Hello! Danny underscore. Boy, 30, 0, 3, 90, 90. How are you, buddy? Good to see you, mate. Uh, you have got a gift club, by the way. I forgot to tell you like the other day. Did you want to do some split? Um, that, that's Ian Frost from DKW, right? the promotion Nick used to like, train with. Keep the drip, roll that hip. Did you want to do some split gate if it's installed? Yeah, exactly. Yep, that's what I was going to say, yeah. And the first ever European champion. It was a... What? Again, okay, cool. I mean, I mean, like later on. Are you, are you free? Or... Oh, 
Bollocks. Okay, can you say happy birthday for me? Your name's Lock. How is your name, by the way? I forgot to ask the other day. Oh, nice. Cool. Are you going anywhere nice for luncheon? Nice. Fuck driver. One. Oh, Christ. Jesus. Happy birthday to your name. <laughs> yes, I'm not gonna take it. I'm probably gonna watch the rest of Oh, okay, cool, have fun. In fact, it is. Yeah, the fact it is perfect with German food, that is. Yeah, they've got a very good menu there, so. Awesome. <clears throat> yep, absolutely. They're gonna call the dogs of war. We're gonna be adding. <laughs> You're naughty. <laughs> Get it. We've got a submission map. This was just by Bulwar in 1987. Hidden from Charlotte, North Carolina. Then Nature Boy, the dirtiest player in the game, Ric Flair, in his prime. And. Fucking hell, Battle of is on. And he involved my Cobb County, Georgia, the former corrections officer, Big Boss Man, better known as Big Bubba Rogers and the Guardian Angel in the WCW. Oh, fucking hell, AEW. Yeah, what, AEW, Ring of Honor, that's now owned by AEW, but they haven't got the trademark. They, they bought, the, like, the tape library for 40 million. Tony Khan should have just fucking checked that he had everything for that price. Stupid arsehole. It's a submissions match. And a co-main event, Stephen. Exactly. Woo! I'm not sure if Bossman... <coughs> okay, ladies and gents. Which year did Big Bossman Come back to the WWF, yes? Hello, nice to be back at how are you? <laughs> I, I, I think the best boss man feud was against Nails. I thought he was a cool wrestler. <laughs> so, someone that Finch was very fucking fair. So, so how is everyone today? How are you, nice to be back at Hope you're doing well, buddy. He was actually a proper correction officer. Rick Flair. Yeah, I fucking heard that. That, he got blacklisted for it. If things have been a prick, then you deserve to get fucked up. Right, like spinning the toe hole. <coughs> yeah, exactly. I'm glad I couldn't go to the fucking show in Wales. I'm really pissed. Hell, but. I'm fine, Becky. I'm better than Justice, buddy. Apart from that, I'm fine. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, that is pretty... Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm saying 98 boss man came back again. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm all good, mate. Apart from being a bit congested. <clears throat> Let's see if boss man has any... ...submissions in his arsenal. Bear hug, maybe. Will be over the top, it will be a new hate tool. So I've changed it up slightly, so I'm going to decide the tag team championship. So I've got my inspiration from early WCW with the blue ring host and the blue turnbuckle pads. They're in hard time. They went to WTW for a few years. Yeah, exactly. Because a lot of people do like same thing with Rick Rude. Nice power driver form. The yeah, nature boy, Rick Flair. Rick Flair going for the figure four leg lock. Is it time? If you reverse that move. 
you can alleviate the pressure from yourself to your opponent. <coughs> Is Boxman going to give it up? Don't know, no, because of the palava with CM Punk, they had to vacate the title. Yeah, Soraya will fucking page his debut. I was like, don't fucking lie to people, that would have pissed me off. No, twist into a hole. Better made from that Terry Funk. Nice elbow drop. Terry Funk and Rick Flair did have a feud in the WCW. Hmm, yeah, I... Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> I'm sure boss man. Does a bear hug count as a submission, do you think, people? No, it's trapezius hold from Ric Flair. Woo! I'll give you. Woo! Ric, Ric Flair falling over like a drunken piss ant that he is. At least WCW. Yep, I watched that match already, so I, I knew the fucking results anyway because a friend sent me a strip I was watching. <laughs> I fell asleep fucking watching a dynamite last night, so I thought, okay. Yeah, that was pretty much the fourth match. But all they need to do is... Two seconds, I'll be back in a few. The post is so fucking loud, so I'm sure. Ah, well, give me two Oh yeah. Awesome. Two captain. The point man is so fucking there. Nice boss man slam! Which is a sidewalk slam to the best of my knowledge. Yeah. Poke! <laughs> nice. Need to have a small of the back. Which is called the lumbar. I'm not a doctor, I'm a practitioner or wrestler. Broke off <laughs> that might have pissed a lot of people off. WCW should have done the fucking reboot then, 99, that instead of 2000. Then the broke off two. The big man two thousand. The Bucks of South and Kenny Omega have been <coughs> suspended, as well as CM Punk. A Steel and CM Punk is to both fuck off. You don't just fucking bite someone. Come on, people. What are they, fucking animals? Okay, ladies and gents. Question time. Which year did Ric Flair debut in the WWF? I watched WWF, yeah. OG generation, next generation, golden generation. <coughs> and didn't he make um uh, before? Well, okay. Question: When did he leave the WCW for the first time? With that, with a figure four leg lock, is it enough to make Big Bubba tap out? Connector. I thought it was 91 that he left the WCW. And your winner of the common event is the Nature Boy, Ric Flair.
the guy, Jim Hurd, <coughs> the Pizza Hut guy, that didn't know anything about wrestling. Exactly. And the WWF Championship. <coughs> then back to Randy Savage, the main era. You was wrong. Mm -hmm. Yep. <clears throat> they what the problem with the double -dub at the time they trialed um, Holden Flair at house shows like the non televised practices would go to and it didn't they didn't click. But in WCW they did the match. Yeah, the the big gold belt. This is a full count anywhere's match. Number one contender, Kane. Head and farm, but bugger, I've done it again. Oh, the Winged Eagle, yeah. Everyone loves that belt. That's what the hardcore title actually is, the Winged Eagle belt. Crushed. So what? I have what I do watch Raw Smackdown now because I've got the channel. I forgot I had the fucking channel. NXT UK, which is going to be NXT Europe next year. And then defending champion Damien. <coughs> Jay Straven is the Scott Hall Memorial Cup winner. This following contest is scheduled for one fall and television time remaining. This is a false count anywhere's match. He beat him in a non title contest. Hayden from Parts Unknown Kane. I like the Things Eleven version of the song. What, what about everyone else? Heading from Pass Unknown, the Big Red Machine, Kane. <laughs> Maybe it's time for a new champion. Yeah. They should have done more fucking wrestling songs. Hey, this is for the HWA World Championship. Hayden Farm, your worst nightmare, Damien. I have actually met Damien at um, a few wrestling shows. He is someone else, but we're not saying who he is. Potentially. Is Kane going to be Damien's next victim? I saw him actually at Rattle Force show a few times. So he's got his Jason Voorhees inspired mask. I'm trying to build a community on uh, Splitgate where we have played on PlayStation, Xbox, and um, PC. Same with um, Multiverses. I'm looking for players to build a community on that as well. 7th edition PC, Xbox and PlayStation, so everyone is welcome, so. <coughs> yeah, who would have thought uh, my decree was a complete dick? Now he is a Demon has been champion for quite some time, so the referee, weapons are permitted and balls can count anywhere in the arena to a certain degree. Nice flapjack from Kane. Okay, Danny Boy. In WCW, as a an enhancement talent, who was Kane? Do you know what his name was? Gangrel, Gangrel was cool. Fang in a bang, I would have bought King for a beer if I had done it, so. Wow, only enough for one count. 
I do reckon them have got a fucking horse throat so I'll probably couldn't do with it for them to make her on. Nice hardos whip from Damien. Kenny choking Damien like a chicken. Game girls oh. Yeah, I wouldn't a few people. I haven't been all time fucking ages. One, two, only enough for a two point. Ha ha ha. Yeah, nope. Yeah, we, we don't do a bunch of that shit anymore, but they will not fucking work off the thing, bloody. Which have finally lowered the payout system to $50 in about fucking time. Damien is done in the proverbial crimson mask. At which wrestling pay-per-view did Kane, who sort of he re-debuted in the WWF. At that was NXT, which has gone to black and gold again at that fucking time. Lash Legend needs to go away. Nice twisting Uranagi from Damien. Nice. Drop up, clothesline, one, only enough for a one. Yep, that's correct. And it, it, when he started to WWF, what was his name? Uh, he was a dentist persona, I believe, if I'm remembering correct. Correct, dog. This must be job. You get an ex you get an extra point for that. <coughs> for knowing that. Final destination from Damien. One, two Oh only enough for two and seven eggs, which is two and a half of you smart asses out there. Rip Baker's got nothing on him. Even though he was given shit gimmicks. Nice cross face. From Damien. Even though Damien's done the proverbial crimson mask. Nice. Hunted from Chain. Triangle hip toss from Damien. We'll all have to get together some at some point. Me, you, Danny, too. And your winner and still HWA World Champion Damien. There was a fantastic match, very random effort from Kane, so there will have to be a decider match at some point. People, you get to decide if it's a title match or non-title match. I will try and rotate who's on this show. Thank you very much for watching, you've all been a fantastic audience. I have been your host, Blue Boy 1985 Two things for you, one, look after yourself. To look after your relatives, neighbours or any animals you have. Peace out, God bless and happy gaming. And I'll be back a little bit later on for more streaming content goodness. And I hope to see you then. Thank you and goodbye for now. And enjoy the rest of your day.